Howdy, welcome back to Football Manager 2020, my Let's Play series with Red Bull Salzburg. Hope you're looking forward to this episode four, where we're going to be taking on Barcelona in the Champions League. Of course, we lost our first game against Dortmund, but we put up a bit of a fight. As you can see, since then, we have continued to win. Of course, we won 5-0 against Tyrol in the last episode as well. Uh, we then beat Kapfenberger, what a name, 1-0 in the FA Cup, put out a weaker team, still managed to get the wing. And then at the second attempt, I beat Hartberg 4-1. Now I say second attempt because I actually won 6-1 and the game crashed. There was a hat-trick from Yonuzovic, three long range bangers. And I lost it because the game decided to crash, but it's the beta, these things happen. Uh, so 4-1, not quite as good as the first first match, but it doesn't really matter, we're top of the table and we should easily go on and win this title because we're currently eight points clear after nine games, a plus 21 goal difference, should be plus 23. Uh, Haaland is, is insane, he's scored the most goals, but Vober, our le young left back, 21 year old left back, He's got three goals this season, two in the league, and he's absolutely blitzing the average rating list. Christensen and Vober, both of them are, you know, our wing backs are just destroying, where's it, where am I? Destroying teams. You know, this tactic's working around. The three up front seems to be working, and I'm going to be brave. I'm going to go with three up front against Barcelona. Yes, it's probably stupid. Anyway, how are you today? I hope you're well. I'm, I've been having a bit of a nostalgic look back at the last few years which is always dangerous I must say I I'm very content with my life but when you start to look back at things you think oh I regret that I regret that it's a bit unhealthy I'm not sure I'm telling you this you probably don't care you're just saying get on play football manager try and get a result against Barcelona but just being open open with you but yeah, I, I mean, most of you should hopefully know who I am by now. But I'd like it if there's lots of people that don't know who I am because it means you're new to the channel. Hello, guten tag, welcome. I hope you've enjoyed my Football Manager 2020 content so far. If you don't know who I am, maybe you don't care. But for those that do, my name is Paul, otherwise known as Golden FM in the Football Manager world. And I've been doing this game, been doing this YouTube game for a long time, since 2020. 2020 next year 2012 that's unbelievable started in my my last year of uni doing this and i'm 28 now still doing this and i i've tried over the last year i've tried not to take youtube too seriously i just wanted to enjoy myself last year i just did regen rovers and it was a lot of fun is this going to be one now no it's not we've survived got it on attacking against barcelona we're being brave yeah, I, I've just try. I just want to do what I want to do, not focus on the numbers. I do have a full time job. YouTube is not my job. Nothing, nothing near it. But I do this for fun. Obviously, it gives me a bit of pocket money. Uh, but yeah, I just, I'm just want to enjoy myself. I want to create some interesting experiments this year as well. That's for those of you that don't know my channel. I created Football Manager experiments. I suppose I was the first person to do them on YouTube. Anyway. And uh, since then, a lot of people have obviously done various things. Uh, but yeah, I've got a few plans. So for those of you that do like my experiments, there's there's a big one planned. I'm hoping I did attempt to do it last year and I, I gave up. But I'm gonna gonna give it a go this year as well. Oh no, this looks dangerous. Oh, great save, Stankovic at the near post. The frame rate still is a bit iffy. I hope they fix this issue. It's not particularly pleasing. What's going on here? Oh, it's VAR. It's going to be a penalty to Barcelona, isn't it? And Messi's going to... Is Messi even playing? I didn't even look. It's a penalty. Damn. It is Messi. He is playing. And he scores. Slots it in the corner. Corner to Barcelona. Whipped in. And it's headed against the post. And it's blocked. And it's fantastic defending. But we've still not got rid of it. Rakitic crosses it in. It's over everyone. Oh, no. Messi blocked. Brilliant defending again. We're defending in numbers and we've just smashed it <laughs> down the down the little tunnel there. Oh no, he chance got injured. We will throw on Prev Prevlak. We've not seen anything from us yet. This is our biggest challenge so far this season. We put up a fight against Dortmund, but we're not really doing that against Barcelona. However, we've won the ball back. It's up the pitch to Prevlak, the sub, and it's through to Minamino. Can Minamino do anything with this? Minamino, he's got 
Haaland in the middle and he scores again. His 12th goal of the season. He's scored two in the Champions League. I remember 1-1 one, one against Barcelona. What a brilliant counter-attack. Minamino, the first thing that I've really seen him do that's brilliant this year. He did score in the last episode, didn't he? But this time, he ran at the defence. He took out two defenders, put in a delightful cross. Ha Haaland, unmarked for some reason, nods it perfectly past the keeper. And somehow, we're 1-1 against Barcelona. I'll keep it. Do I keep it on attacking? Why not? Look, we've actually had... Tw uh, no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong team. We've had seven shots to their 12, 35% possession. But that's not too bad against Barcelona, is it? I'm happy. Let's keep it up. Shall we keep... I think attacking is the best form of defence against Barcelona because their their defence is a bit shaky, isn't it? So let's keep going. Minamino still looking nervous. He sort of has a nervous sounding name. Minamino It's just like quite like a mouse. Just sort of timid. He's apprehensive now. 60 minutes on the clock. Suddenly whizzed by and uh, half an hour to go. I can do maths. Here's Pre Prevlak back to Romalo, into Voba, down the line for Prevlak to try and run onto, pressing forwards, two attacking pressing forwards, it's brave football, Haaland tackled, trying to close down the keeper, but they and it's worked because Voba's now in possession to Stegen, gives it away, and here's Vauci into Romalo, the halfback, back to Stankovic, knocks it out wide, brilliant ball out wide to Christensen, and he's put a delightful ball into Voba. Voba crosses it. Christensen on the volley. And he follows it up. And unfortunately, it's a goal kick. But that was excellent football. From What the hell's going on here? <laughs> Invisible players. Christensen's dead. I think we'd better take him off. He's on a yellow as well. So it's probably wise to do that. Voba's dead as well. But uh, I'm going to change. Uh, this is why I need fullbacks on the bench because they just get so knackered with this style of play. But we're going to continue to attack. We're being brave. Brave against Barcelona. Maybe that should be the name of the, the episode. I'll probably forget. Here's Farkas down the line for Minamino's round the back. Minamino! Good save. Yeah. It, was it a clear cut chance or one on one? The defenders kind of caught up. So, But it was either way. It was saved. Haaland! Just wide. It was going wide. Just taken saved it anyway. Well, this has been a phenomenal display. Even if we lose this in the last few minutes, I'm proud of the lads. Goalkeepers have been on form. Stankovic and Stegen have pulled off saves. They've seemed to have fixed the issue of goalkeeper ratings. However, it's resulted in no, you know, clear-cut chances being scored. However, we've, I've, because of the style of play I've been playing lately, we've not created loads of clear-cut chances and one-on-one -on -one situations. We've been obviously whipping the balls into Holland to head. We've been taking long shots, etc. What a result, though. 1-1. One, one. I'm really proud of the of the lads for that. Let's have a league game, then. We're taking on Sport Club Nidavostrik. Osterik. That's ostrich. Ostrich. Ostr <laughs> Not ostrich. Austria in German. Saint well, it's Austrian. It's Austria. Osterik is Austria, isn't it? Ostrich. Anyway, we're taking on this team. And I don't know. They're ninth. We should be beating them. There's not many teams in the Bundesliga. 12 teams. So does that mean there's only like 22 games? Yeah, it finishes in, in March. It's a nice short division. I like it. I like little leagues like this. I'm football manager anyway. In real life, I like I like the big one. I like the championship because there's so many games. It's great. Um, but for football managers, it's nice to get through a season pretty quickly. Anyway, uh, I have to make a change because Christensen is suspended so Farkas is going to come in. Uh, he chan is a little bit dead. We'll take him out. Okugu was only played, Okugawa was only played one game and he scored in it because that was when we played wingers. But we're not playing wingers, so he misses out, which is a bit of a shame. Voba's tired. We'll, we'll play Ulmer today. Change the fullbacks. Well, this should be a comfortable win. Let's just have a quick look at our opposition. I mean, he's not the best, but it's always... You, you tend to regret saying someone's not the best because they end up scoring against you. And they're playing def defensive looking uh, formation. Hopefully we can break them down. Although it doesn't matter. We don't need to break them down. We just bang them in from long range. Yuzanovic should have two more goals than he does. I'm still better about the game crashing after winning 6 1. Really frustrating. Pretty much all the goals are long range. Strangely, Haaland scored a penalty in both, both uh, parallel universes. One parallel universe was, was destroyed, it's forgotten about. In that parallel universe, we went and won, and won the Champions League. Oh, what a save by Stankovic. Uh, but it was it was offside. Oh, my, my point about when you're offside, they score isn't true. Because we've just seen an offside 
one on one missed. Here's Minamino round the back. And he, he blocked it. Stop. Oh, Dominic hits a crossbar with an absolute belter. Here's Ongweni into Dominic. Out wide to Farkas. Dominic again. Nice ball to Ulma. Our full backs. Our left backs in particular like to have these long range shots. Oh, so we've seen Christensen do it as well, of course, haven't we? Holland saved. We're already all over the opposition. Ostrich, Ostrich FC, as I'm going to call them now. St. Poulton is, is the shortened name, apparently. I've had a number of decent shots, but most of them are long-range efforts. That's because I'm telling my players to do that, because there's no point having shots from inside the box at this stage. Here's Ulma. Let's hit him on the back of the head. What's that all about? We've had 20 shots to their one. It's just obscene, really, and we still haven't scored. Oh, Dominic takes over. It's through to Pravlek. Pravlek, he's, he's going to miss. Ah, oh, so predictable. So predictable. Here's Ulma. Oh, dear. What are we doing there? Smash clear, though. Holland. Oh, it's through to Minamino, but he's going to miss as well. And he does, of course. It's uh, another clear-cut chance. Great save by the keeper. This is why keepers get obscene ratings, though. Because... The one-on-ones being saved, of course, they're stopping clear-cut chances, which results in them getting a really good rating. Assertive, far from pleased. We've obviously played pretty well, but it's not been good enough. I'm going to drop Minamino back. He's going to play as a trek wide... Well, that's not dropping him back. He's going to play as a deep line forward. We're, we're dropping back. Hopefully he can come deep, collect the ball, dribble, find Holland, do something. Come on, lads. We've been good. Just not been quite good enough. We've actually created clear-cut chances today, which we haven't done really lately because, like I said, the style of play I'm trying to to push isn't about creating loads of chances. Oh, Alma has another shot well wide. I'm telling my players to do that, though. Maybe I should turn shoot off shoot on sight off in the second half because for whatever reason, our shooting boots aren't on today. Oh, Stankovic has come for this. That is awful. Guys, Stankovic, well, how are we losing this? I've been FM'd. 60 minutes on the clock. Almost come for another long-range effort. We've won a corner, though. And Janozovic sticks it to the to Holland. It's headed away. And making a sub. Koita is going to come on. He's going to come on as an advanced forward. He's, he's, uh, he's pacey. Well, acceleration-wise, dribbling, finishing abilities. Different, something different up front. I'll give that a go. We need to turn this around. We've, we've had 32 shots, though. There's not much more I can do. Romalo. This was inevitably going to happen at some point, that we couldn't always rely on the long shots going in. Oh, what? Henry Sandu got a penalty. We didn't even see what it was given for. I'm very confused. I can't really complain, but it makes no sense. We've just been given a penalty for no reason. Corner. Janusovic. Holland again. Somehow it's kept out by their keeper again. He's on like an 8.0, I think, today. Incredible performance. Different player coming on, Ishimuru. Ishimuru, you haven't really seen him before. He's uh, the Ghanaian. Well, you've seen him, but you've not really seen him play. Is this going to be the first match in the league that we don't win? And we've been all over them. 21 shots on target. We've scored one goal. Nice ball out wide. Farkas. And it's a penalty as well. Ishimuru. Oh, this is it. Oba off the crossbar. Farkas tipped over for another shot on target. 40 shots. Making my last change. Don't think he's going to do much. Bernied has come on. Look at those stats. It's finishing 1-1. One, one, and we scored from the penalty spot. It's the first game we've failed to win in the league. But it is... It's absolutely ridiculous. It's just one of those games. It happens every now and then. Anyway, 2-1-1 one, one draws for you today. A very good draw against Barcelona. And a game we really should have won. And I don't know how we didn't win. I, I must say I have been a bit negative about the game. And I, th I think that's refreshing. I know a lot of people say, talk about the football manager creators being invited to these events and us being biased and saying the game's wonderful, etc. I think the game will probably end up being the best one yet because it is essentially an updated FM19 with a couple big additions. Of course, the development centre and the club vision thing. So those are great for long-term saves. I think overall it will be the best game, but 
if they don't fix some of the match engine issues, I'm not talking about the graphics, I'm talking about the match engine, the one-on-one -on -one situations, uh, loads of balls being played like across field all the time, there's a, there's a few things. They need to sort that out for it to really be an enjoyable game because the match engine is the thing that makes or breaks the game. If there's something that is so irritating, like I'll be really irritated if this one-on-one -on -one thing isn't sorted because you won't be able to create chances and you can't, you'll never score. Like you'll never score not proper goals. Like goals, the most common goals in football are those sort of clear cut chances, goals from inside the box. There's not that many goals from outside the box. Most goals are scored from within the penalty area, aren't they, if you think about it. So if that isn't sorted, I'll be very annoyed, but I'll be very surprised if they don't sort it. That's what I'm saying. So hopefully they do. Overall, Everything else about the game, I'm positive on. I'm just worried about the match engine at the moment, but I, I, I think that I, 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 I have confidence that they will sort the issues that have been found. We will end it there. Thank you for watching episode four of this Football Manager 2020 Let's Play series. Until next time, enjoy FM20 as much as you possibly can. I'll see you very soon.